We welcome to the show Mike Brewer. So unfortunately, I've heard that your rather rare Ford Fiesta has been stolen. Um, what can you tell us what it looks like for people on the lookout for it? Well, it's very rare. Uh, there's only a handful of them in the country. And this I, is a, a sort of unique colour as well. So it looks like a, a 1979 Mark I Ford Fiesta uh, 1300S. So it's midnight blue. Uh, it's non-metallic. It's got a very 1970s brown interior. So blue with brown wasn't everyone's choice uh, after 1979. But uh, up until 1979, that was most people's wardrobe choice. Uh, so it's a very unusual colour combination for a car. And it will be in absolutely pristine uh, mint condition because I've just finished restoring it. And how long did it take you to restore the motor? Well, on the show, we uh, really do work quite fast and quite hard. It probably took us about six weeks uh, from a, what was a rusty shell uh, with a completely um, destroyed engine to a, a hand-built Concorde conditioned car that we thought was quite possibly one of the best Mark 1 Fiestas in the country. It must be really de devastating because, of course, there's this big... Uh fiesta festival at the moment isn't there so there is because uh, ford have decided to drop the fiesta name so we no longer have the ford fiesta and we thought it was a way not only to celebrate that great little british car that's been with us for decades but also celebrate 20 years of our tv show wheeler dealers and we were bringing the two together at this fiesta ball but unfortunately the star of the show was stolen from our hotel in pontifrat overnight so uh it's still missing I still need people to help us find it. I need to inform my Shortshire police, but yeah, I need the car back. The festival's just finished, uh, more or less. You know, we just finished uh, uh, gathering the cars together. Uh, we had thousands of people uh, come to this event. Uh, and most of them were coming in the hope that they would see this little car that we turned out. And some of them were even turning up to raise their hand in the air and hopefully buy it off of me because I was going to do a live auction. Um, but unfortunately, none of that's happened. And uh, now we're in the hands of the police and obviously the thieves that stole it. Yeah. So you, you were filming um, as part of the 20th anniversary of Wheeler Dealer, wasn't you? Correct. Yeah. So it's the 20th anniversary of this amazing TV show that's uh, on the, all over the planet, all over the globe. Uh, and we're very proud to be celebrating two decades of this show. And we tied it together with the saying goodbye to the humble Ford Fiesta at this fiesta ball that we uh, arranged um but yeah the you know my party balloon was really popped by these uh, nasty thieves can you tell us about wheeler dealer i mean this is obviously 20 years old as you say but what do you think is the secret of the show's success well i'd like to think it's me chris but it's not <laughs> it's uh, uh, the show's uh, very enduring it's been around forever it's the first original car flipping show anywhere on the planet so a bit like, you know, your first soap, Coronation Street, people sort of stick with it and uh, people tune into it. And I suppose for us, we've never changed the format, although the mechanics have changed over the last two decades. The format has remained exactly the same. So it's a very familiar program for somebody to tune into. We keep it simple. Uh, we don't overcomplicate things. And we try to make it aspirational for the home mechanic. And I think that people like that. I think people like that, um, have a go and uh, have a go, do what you can attitude. And that's what we tune into. Yeah. And what do you think? This is a very hard question, but what's the best car you've restored or one of your favourites? Uh, well, it's not actually a hard question, Chris. I get asked it all the time. Uh, there's been a few. So in the old period with Ed, uh, China, it would definitely be the Lamborghini Uraco. In the middle period with Antanstead, it would definitely be the... Escort Cosworth that we put the third wing on and the Austin Healy. And in the later series with Elvis, it's uh, the Ford Mark I Transit van, 1974 Transit van, and quite possibly after that, this Fiesta, uh, which we didn't get to see the, the finished results. Well, well, hopefully we will one day. I'm, I'm, hopefully it will turn up. I mean, if people uh, keep an eye out, hopefully. Well, fingers crossed, you know, we really do hope it turns up. It's a very unusual car uh, for somebody to try and put back in the marketplace. Then it would get spotted straight away. 
the reason I'm talking to you uh, is because it's made news all over the world. And uh, now that Cartwright Gabber is going to be too hot to handle. And there is a £5,000 reward. So if you're the thief, just park it up on a corner, uh, point to it, tell us where it is or through all forms of social media or tell West Yorkshire Police. If I get the car in my safe hands, I promise to uh, meet you on a dark and shady night somewhere with five grand cash in an envelope and make sure you get it. I just need the car back. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope you get the car back. And with this latest series, has it been aired yet or is it being aired soon? Or? Uh, no, new series of Wheeler Dealers will start on Discovery Channel uh, from around the end of August, early September. And this will be uh, the first show. It'll be the first one in the run of uh, 10 shows that are coming up. Brilliant. Well, we'll look forward to that. And I really hope you get your Ford Fiesta back, Mike. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it.